still spins, even in a straight line. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Kia Nero EV. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Jerry Center Kia here in South Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Nero. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a 64 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery paired with 150 kilowatt electric motor. And then also the charger is 480 volts. So you do kind of have a little bit of a fast charge function with this. And then in terms of power outputs, it's good for 139 horsepower and then 195 pound feet of torque. Now let's go to the front end of the Nero. So first off, we have the regular Kia logo that they did change for the 2022 model year, but this one's a 21, so that's why we have that Kia logo. We've got these projector bulbs right here, and then we've got the fast charge port, so all you have to do is just press that, and then you can open that up. And then we've got our fog lights just down below. I love the blue accenting here at the bottom of the grill, and then here on the side as well. And notice that everything's closed off because again, it's fully electric, and that's everything for the front. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 15 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then notice how they've pretty much closed off most of the wheel. You can barely see the brake caliper and that actually helps out with aerodynamic efficiency. A lot of electric cars will adopt a wheel design like that. And then we've got the plastic molding that kind of continues all along the side here. We have the two-tone mirror with the red in the top and then the black on the bottom. And notice how that black accenting goes all around the windows as well. And that's everything for the side. Now popping here into the rear, you guys will notice that we've got our charging cable here in the back. And then notice we do have a max load back here of 130 pounds. If we actually lift this up, you can see there's a little bit more storage. And then we do have the cargo cover as well. It's already been built in. And then you can throw down the back seats if you want a little bit of extra storage. And so you. Let's finish things up here in the rear. So first off, you can see that we've got a pretty interesting design here for the tail lights. And then I like how the spoiler here at the top has been blacked out. We've got our Nero badge and then our Eco Electric badge. And then notice more blue accenting here at the bottom portion. And other than that, that's everything for the rear. So popping here into the back, we've got this really nice leather padding with the stitching that goes throughout. And then we've got piano black trim in that area. And we have pretty interesting seats. So notice that we've got some leather here on the top of the seats, cloth there in the center. And let's actually pop in so you guys can see leg room. You guys can see leg room there. And then you've got some vents as well and then headroom. And if you guys are wondering, just a little bit under six foot and well, there's a cup holders. Let's head to the front. Here's our door panel in the front. So we've got all the leather trim here with the stitching that goes throughout. We've got all of our window controls and then we do have the mirror controls. The mirrors do power fold in. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, that same contrast with the leather and then the cloth here in the center. And then we've got the adjustments there on the side of the seat. There's a pedal layout down below. And then notice here for the charging, which is pretty interesting. And then we've got that for the blind spot monitoring, the lane departure, and then the stability control. The steering wheel is manually adjustable and there's one more look before we pop in. So here's the steering wheel in the Nero. We've got really nice soft touch leather all around the steering wheel and then we've got the stitching here on the center portion. We have our cruise control and then our pages button, voice command controls, phone controls. We'll talk about the paddles in a little bit. And then you've got little stock there for the turn signal and the lights, windshield wiper stock, and that's all for the steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cluster for the Nero. Notice that there's a couple different screens you can scroll through there in the center. But the most important thing is notice it shows you how much you are charged up and then how many miles you have left and then your miles per hour on the other side. Overall, it's actually a really good looking gauge cluster, I'd say. Here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. You can see the backup camera that pops up. It does have trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel. And then aside from that, if we go to the menus right here, notice that response time is great here with the infotainment system. Has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and we have an EV page as well. And notice that it gives you everything like your charge percentage and all that. It looks just like on the iPhone. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, that's uh, everything for the infotainment system. 
So we've got some vents right here with the hazard lights in the center, and then we've got our analog radio controls just down below with our climate controls. It does have automatic climate, but it is a single zone climate. We've got some extra storage here with a little charging area and some more storage down below. And then, well, it is super bright. Okay, there we go. Now the camera will focus on it. We've got our gear selector right here. So you push in for park, over for drive, over for reverse, and then in the middle for neutral. Pretty easy to use. This does come with heated seats. We've got our auto hold, heated steering wheel as well. And we have our drive mode select. We have a few different drive modes. We have our eco, we have our sport, and our normal. And you guys probably heard the climate controls. When you go into eco, it really tries to save in every uh, possible way. But those are the three different drive modes. So we have the world's most over-engineered cup holders, and I love them. That is just, and then if you want to put them back, you just have to kind of click it back into place. But I mean, that is so cool. Like it's super over-engineered, but it's really cool. And then we have the center console right here. More piano black trim all over the front. And then with the glove box, just press that button right there. And then you guys can see that whole setup. And then I guess we'll finish things up here at the top. We do have a manual dimmer. Light headliner, sunglass holder. We have a sunglass holder, very important. And that's all for the top. So here is our window sticker and you guys can actually kind of see it today. Not too much glare, but you guys can see the total MSRP right there, $41,765. And then also we've got the range over here, 239 miles and wait for it, wait for it. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Cookie, talk about visibility before we set off here in the Nero EV. And let me turn down the uh, fan a little bit so you guys can actually hear me. So there is your visibility over the hood through the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring and then the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in the Nero, first off, the paddles are for the regenerative brakes. So like you can hold down the paddle and it'll go to the most regeneration. I was not pressing the brake pedal at all. That was all paddle. Um, so you can just set it to auto or you can hold down the paddle and that'll really make it aggressive. So then you can obviously get a little bit of your battery life back, but let's actually uh, set off here in the Nero. So first off from a ride quality perspective, it's actually really smooth. And let me just turn off the climate for a little bit so I can hear the tires and everything. Pretty normal tire noise. Um, I wouldn't say that it's any louder compared to a gas car in this segment, so that's definitely solid. That regeneration, I mean, you literally can just drive with one pedal, which is definitely uh, interesting. Does take some time to get used to, but obviously that is for the best because then you're obviously gonna be saving on charge and all that uh, fun stuff. But let's get kind of like a partial-ish acceleration here. Pretty good with the torque. Obviously the tire uh, spun a little bit, right? It's it's hard when you get all the power and torque all at once, even when you don't have massive power figures, you still uh, will spin just a little bit, but we're gonna pop it into the sport mode. Definitely feel that everything's already more aggressive. And then actually you can still do really hard with the regenerative braking, even in the sport mode, but I can feel that everything is definitely kind of tensed up a little bit. And we'll get the straight line first and then we'll punch it still spins even in a straight line yeah it's quick i mean it feels very quick like again only 139 horsepower but it definitely like it feels punchier than that and that's the thing about these electric cars because you get all the power and torque right off the bat it makes it feel substantially more powerful compared to its gas counterpart right off the line obviously once you get up and you're moving then they feel pretty similar but yeah, that just, that torquey punch you get, you just can't beat that. And um, obviously this is meant to compete against stuff like the Prius, right? They're trying to pull buyers from there. And then they're also trying to pull buyers from the uh, Chevy Bolt as well. And I, I think that they're doing a really good job with that because this is kind of more like an SUV in a sense, in terms of its size and everything. And so I think it'll actually work out really well uh, with pulling people from both of those because of the size. Yeah, it just doesn't, I, I'm not doing that on purpose. Like I just go and it just, it spins every single time. It's like the, the tires just can't handle the power. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a really good competitor against both those. I mean, 
compared to the Prius, I would rather have one of these over a Prius. Much nicer interior, and on top of having a nicer interior, it just it feels nicer overall, and obviously the acceleration feels so much better. Like, the Prius is gutless. That is the definition of absolutely no power, whereas this, again, you actually have some power. And so huge difference from that perspective. Um, and then in terms of the Chevy, that one has more power than this, but it's pretty small. That's a really small car. This you can actually fit some stuff in. The Chevy, a little bit on the smaller side. Um, so, I mean, obviously there's pros and cons to everything, but I really like this. Yeah, and that I'm, people probably think I'm an idiot because I'm playing through a regenerative brake in the middle of the road, but I'm testing out the car for you guys, okay? I, I actually really like this. Uh, the exterior styling, right? I think it looks pretty cool and futuristic. I've, I've always been a fan of Kia's styling because they kind of go and do some crazy stuff. Um, and interior-wise, like I said, it's really nice, but yeah, this is, this is a nice car. They did a really good job. Don't underestimate Kia and their electric cars. If you're looking for like a more budget-friendly electric vehicle, check out the new Nero. This thing is great, actually. I'm surprised. Now let's get some things up for our video on this 2021 Kia Nero EV. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Jerry Sider Kia here in South Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Nero. Check out the inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.